Oh yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? Adam Brown Adventures here. I am out near Atlanta, Georgia today. And I already dove early today. It's freezing, this morning. it's so cold, but I'm trying to get a last minute dive. The sunlight is going down quick. So maybe have like 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm gonna try to get in this spot and get the dive. Um, all the other rivers I was searching were just too murky and too flooded. So this looks like a pretty good spot. I'm gonna try to look around this bridge up here. The water isn't that deep, but there's already some stuff up here. Right at the edge is a bunch of pennies and stuff, as you can see. Just a bunch of coins littered everywhere. It looks like a potentially good spot. Let's get in the water real quick and see what we can find. 30 minutes. Let's go. Oh, guys, right at the dock, right here, right at the landing, I found this tablet. That is crazy. Oh, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
You. Looks like an incense burner. What is that? Alright guys, I just took off my all my gear, but there was something I saw along the banks that looked kind of interesting, so I'm gonna go back and try and see if I can find that. Let's go. So I was looking over here and I saw something in the mud. Oh, look at that. Dang, check it out, guys. That is crazy. What the heck? That's crazy, guys. I think I just found a potential murder weapon. <laughs> I found a lot of stuff in a small amount of time. So I'm pretty happy about finding that. I'm gonna go add that to the collection. There's also a bunch of change still out here. I'm gonna try not to slip in this mud. But there's still so much change. Lots of pennies. I just, I can't pick all this stuff up. <laughs> there's just too much out here and I don't have enough daylight or time. Right, guys, that was the end of the dive. I just got out of the water and man, it's starting to get pretty cold, but I found a lot of stuff in the small amount of time I had. Let me show you all the stuff I found, guys. A bunch of little goodies. I got some trash, um, some golf balls, a socket. Uh, I do not know for sure, but this looked like a shotgun shell to me. So you guys let me know if that's what that is. I'm not entirely sure. It looks really long, but maybe that's some type of shotgun shell. I'm not really <laughs> entirely sure, but y'all let me know. It's got like a LCA, I think. Uh, and I found an old bottle, old Coke bottle was pretty cool. I found, uh, I think this is a Hindu like incense burner or some type of offering statue. I'm not sure exactly. Um, I found a bunch of change out there too. There was a lot of change just scattered everywhere. So that was kind of interesting, but that's a cool find. You guys let me know what exactly this is. I'd be interested to know. Now I found this tablet sitting right at the edge i guess somebody got in it's like the landing the last landing out um of the river so people probably freak out maybe they drop this tablet but that's crazy i've actually never found a tablet before um so that is my first one i don't think it's gonna turn on because it's got lots of water in there but hopefully i can find like a memory card or something and try to get that back to the owner if possible now the last two items guys are kind of controversial um i don't know for sure if they are what they are but let me show you this first thing i just found this big old knife. Now, could this be a murder weapon? I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments. That is pretty crazy though, it's a big old knife. I mean, it looks like a kitchen knife, but still, that's a big knife just to be sitting by the river. Now this last thing, I think it is what I think it is, but you guys really let me know because I'm. this is I'm most interested to see. I think it is what it used to be a G word, if you know what I'm talking about, bang bang. <laughs> um it looks like it has the trigger and like where the butt used to be like the wood i do not know for sure i really don't know but it i mean it if i'm guessing that's what i'm guessing it is if you guys have some experience with these type of uh weapons <laughs> it's i mean it's been in there a long time if that's what it is all right guys jump it forward a little bit in the future i just wanted to update you on this it is actually part of an old shotgun that i found and i actually did some electrolysis on it uh, i put it in some water and sent some electricity through it to take some of that rust off and it is part of a shotgun um as you can see the barrel would have gone here and i was holding it the wrong way in the video you just saw <laughs> um but it's kind of hard to tell so the trigger would have been here and the butt here and you can see where the barrel would have been so that's pretty cool it's so old and rusted i mean there's no serial numbers i didn't want to waste the police time and call them so uh i just took it home and did some research my own so that's pretty cool found an old shotgun i wish if you guys know how old that is let me know i'd be really interested to find out the age 
So that's all the finds I got today, guys. I gotta head home back to South Carolina. I got like a three hour drive, so I gotta get on the road. But thanks for coming along on this adventure, guys. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Um, if you don't mind, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay updated whenever I post videos because you guys are not gonna wanna miss all the adventures I have coming up. They are pretty awesome. Also, if you do or just leave a like, leave a comment on my video, that always helps. I appreciate that too. So with that being said, guys, that is the end of the day, end of the adventure. I'm gonna get on the road, but thanks for coming along. I had a blast and I'll see y'all on the next adventure. Oh yeah. Guys, enjoyed the video. <laughs> I'm just floating down the river. Oh yeah.